Greetings everyone, my name is Etterville, and welcome back to my Let's Play of Cathedral. Continuing on from the last episode, I'll now be exploring the tropical area of Brightwind. And as always, for full disclosure, I received the key from the developers in order to let's play this title. Pretty far off from the graveyard to be honest. I guess this is where the secret town is as mentioned by one of the quest givers. Being underwater does slow down my movement speed though. Now, the quest for the orbs did mention there being a sunken palace, so I suppose it's connected to this area. But what I really want to find is the next checkpoint, or a teleporter. Oh well, at least my health and health bottles have been restored back to full. Wait, what? I can't use soul here. That's odd. Yeah, I knew he was gonna die once. Well, at least there was a checkpoint right over here. I think I can make the jump over there as long as I bounce off the piranha at the correct time. There we go. Oh, hello there, Cloud Demon. That's probably my next ability. The question is, where is it? I really need a map fragment to see where I'm supposed to go to next. This area has no other connections, so I'll save it for later. It's probably just for treasure. There is an upgrade in this room, somewhere. The positioning of those jellyfish are rather suspicious. It's as if they're pointing something out to me. Well, I guess I'm not going through this area. Back to the left then. That's very likely just a shortcut. There's another potion bottle.
Now I can cross down over here. In terms of optional upgrades, potion bottles and heart containers are my top priorities. I have to keep a lookout for the underwater portal. Besides, there is nowhere else where I can go. I can't backtrack through the Bone Church. There's no way I can jump back up from that pit. Well, I guess this could be worse. There could have been a bed of spikes waiting for me. Thankfully, being underwater increases my jump height. Just a little bit, though. Not as much as it does to Mega Man. I see a door. There's my ticket out of here. Before I get out of here though, let's see what's down over here. I wonder who left all these treasure chests lying about, mostly unattended. I guess it was Arduous forces, then, putting all their spoils in these chests. Time to upgrade my potion bottle size. So now it'll heal 4 hearts per bottle. I'll be saving up for the final upgrade too. If my hunch holds true, the next major item should be in the room to the right. And it was pointed out by that ghost. Yep, there's the next major upgrade. The dash charm. So now I can dash forward. However, I will sacrifice my ability to double jump. So now I have fast movement. And I can dash when in midair, but I have to unlearn my muscle memory where I keep using double jump. Clearly not the way to go, then. And there's my next armor augmentation. And that's how we get through those blocks.
Oh goody, bees. They don't seem too aggressive now. Just wait for the queen to arrive though. Then we're in a world of hurt. I swear there's something more to those blocks. Rats, I see what I need to do here. I was able to salvage it at least. There are these kinds of barriers again. I guess I'm returning here later, once I have double jumping back. I need to locate the next town, which should be somewhere here. Somewhere very nearby. Oh, hello there, Siren. Or Mermaid. I was waiting for one of you to show up eventually. Unfortunately, you're not one of the friendly varieties. If I already knew the maps of this game, I'd be dashing everywhere. And there's our map. Let's see this place. Ah, huh, not too much left here. I honestly thought this place would be a lot bigger. Like I only went through half of it so far. So just for another page. Well, I can't go to the left yet, so back down we go. I still think I need dashing, so I'll re-equip it.
So we have Goblin Spearman now. I should have brought double jumping here. This is what this place was built for. Don't worry, it's only a few steps back anyways. That waterfall goes downwards, but I don't see a path downwards. Then that leads over to the next area. Sure, let's jump down. Entering the deep jungle. So wait a minute. The deep jungle is below the tropical watery area. I would think it'd be the other way around. We have no map here either. That's rather concerning. Just want to jump over them, I see. Thank you for your assistance. So this key is made of ectoplasm. I need dashing here. Guess I have to use double jumping then.
I'm not sure how to get past that previous section without the use of double jumping. And of course here I need to dash. There we go. I did have the damage boost though, so it's not completely free. At the very least, I got an X key. I'm not sure that's the intended way of doing it, but it works for me at least. Keeping out for spikes and hidden orbs. So that's how I extend my jump height there. Now I just need to find one more orb. Pretty somber tune, you've heard ask me. If it's not here, it's probably back at the beginning. Oh. Okay, so it was in the previous room. I didn't realize you could jump up over here. No? So they're clearly all in the same room. I'm probably gonna have to consult a guide soon. I have no idea where else to look. Do you see the flashing up there? Yep, that was the last one. The one that I completely overlooked because I was walking too fast. I wish that was more obvious. At least we're out of the deep jungle. Oh boy, this is going to be edited quite a bit. We're not out of the woods yet though, it seems. Soulfly charm. So we're basically using him as a parachute. I don't even use glasses and I couldn't even see it either. I had to check a playthrough from another user in order to figure out what was going on. At first I thought I was missing a hitting a certain block. As much as I like this game, that section I do not like.
I think this was an accident, because the rest of the game isn't this obtuse. Oh sure, I still complain about the plot trigger unlocking the gate to Poison Pavilion, but honestly this is worse. Hopefully this is fixed in a future update. Wait a minute, something's up there. Not exactly what I had in mind, but... I reached the hidden town of Blue Haven. And I probably could have accessed it earlier if I had the double jump charm equipped. I'm just glad that Deep Jungle is behind me. Although I do like the pace change and increased emphasis on puzzles. It's currently my least favorite area of the game. Welp, the next Collect 4 Items quest. Sure, I'll help you. Oh. Remember what I said earlier about how Brightwind seems smaller? Here's the second half of it. Let me see if there's any shops in this place. At the very least, there's a healer. So now I don't need to always go all the way back to Ivy Stone Ridge. I want that armor. Glad to see the bank accounts are universal in this game. I'll be saving up for this next. There's the there's the next fortune teller, but I know exactly what to do now, so... Thanks for the confidence. Let me see what's in the upper floor, and then I'll return there.
Ah, uh, there you are, Tamtas. I've been looking for you for the past few episodes. Well, I already investigated the tomb twice, so once I complete this area, I'll go back and investigate there. Once I'm done finishing up the rest of this area, I'll end up the stream. Unless this area takes too long. On to the second part of Brightwind. Hopefully the coconuts stand up for most of the level objects, as everything in this region is pretty bright and colorful. There's Coconut 104. I really need to be saving up for that new armor upgrade. I honestly feel like I overlooked one in a hidden area, and it's costing me quite a bit. And I like how this area is mostly focused on double jumping, instead of forcing me to switch between the dash and double jumping all the time. Oh sure, there are certain areas where I do have to swap, like that one, but thankfully they're relatively minimized. Plus, this area where the skeleton one is getting a lot of mileage. Something's here, and something's down here. I'll have to access it from the other side.
There is coconut number two. Now let's take the upper exit out of here. I think you can do it with dashing equipped, but I'd rather have double jumping right now. Well, spoke too soon, I need dashing. But let's see how far I can go without it. Three down, one left to go. Is this where I want double jumping? Probably, I don't see anywhere else to cross then. I wonder, is the final coconut over here? Yep, here it is. I swear it would have been on the rightmost side of this area. There's clearly more over here, but I doubt I can access it right now. Or I can, but there's no need to. Yeah, Squigs, there are quite a few routes through this level. That settles that. But I'll be dashing through that gate in the next episode. So to summarize the happenings of this episode, I entered Brightwind, acquired my Ford Potion Bottle, found the teleporter and used it to get back to Ivy Stone, purchased the potion upgrade, went back to the graveyard in order to acquire the dash charm, teleported back to Brightwind and used the dash to cross the waterfall, fell into the deep jungle and got stuck there for almost 25 minutes, finally escaped and found the town of Blue Haven, and spent the remaining minutes reclaiming four stolen coconuts. Well then, thanks for watching, and have a nice day. Toodles!